Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Greg here at the Caddis Fly Shop. Today we're going to be tying a couple of effective wire nymphs. We'll start off today uh, with kind of a variation of the top secret midge. We're just going to do a variation of it. Um, and then we're also going to be tying a Copper John uh, Euro nymph style. Join me today. I'm going to start off with just some 8 dot thread. And you'll notice I'm leaving a little bit of space behind the eye. I don't need a whole lot, but the reason why I'm leaving space is as a marker so I don't crowd this head at the end. Being such a small midge fly, that it's very easy to crowd the head. I'm just going to bring my threads back, not quite to the hook bend, and then I'm going to come back forward. I'm going to be incorporating three sets of wire today. This is all ultra wire, size small. I have two of the wires in amber and one of the wires in silver. It does not matter which order they go on because they will evenly space out with the wider uh, brown wire. I'm gonna go ahead, oh, did I just move that out of the frame? No, uh, well, yeah, yeah let me help you. Yeah. It's really loose. Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna go ahead and do a pinch wrap, lock those in, and then I'm gonna pull those back and lock those in all the way keeping them taut as I go. And I want to take these down into the hook bend. Watch your thread on your hook point so you don't break your thread. Bring that into the hook point. Horizontal wraps. I'm going to bring my thread back up to the front. I'm going to really cinch that down. I'm going to do just a half hitch there to lock it in. And then with the wires now and the rotary bias, today I'm using a regal bias. Um, I'm going to pull these tautly and I'm going to try to keep them as neat as I can as I wind them. I'm going to come out like this, get one wrap started, and then I'm going to start using my... Take your time here. You want your wraps close together, touching. Pull them kind of tight and cinch them back just up a bit. You'll notice how that silver's just giving it a very nice rib look. Some people choose to use UV glue on this. That's up to you if you want to. And then I'm going to stop short. Right about oh, my thread here. About there. I'm going to lock this off with some very tight turns, about three or four turns. Let's wrap a couple up front there. Then I'm going to come up and use my old scissors, cut those wires out, clean that up just a hair with some wraps. Using all this wire makes this fly heavy. I'm not using any kind of bead or anything. But you can see those beautiful wraps right there using those three different wires. And then you want dubbing such as super fine, fine dubbing. You don't want this to be extremely bushy. But I'm going to build a little thorax here. And you want a fairly defined little bump. You want to wind this on really tight if you can. Probably a noodle about. My hands are a little sticky from all the rain. Moisture. And just start off with a little bit of dubbing. And I'm going to start off right there. I'm going to build a little head like so. And that looks good. Then what I'm going to take is just a little bit of crystal flash. I'm taking this. This is just a regular pearl color. So I want to simulate an air bubble. 
when the midges are coming up, there's a little air sac on top of their thorax or the body. And that's what we're gonna mimic with this. It's gonna almost look like a little wing, but it's supposed to be a little. And I'm taking about four different pieces that I'm gonna fold back. Right there, like so. And I'm gonna wrap that even back more. And then I'm gonna take more dubbing. And this is just a super fine brown. That's really what defines originally the top secret midge is the brown color. If you were to do this in the black color and silver, some people would call it a tiger midge. And just get that nice and wrapped fairly tight. We don't want any bushy looking thorax. And you'll see I'm building that up. I'm going to come back up like so. Actually, I'm just going to do it just like so. Come back up over to the top. And you can see I'm really building that very, very pronounced little bump or that thorax. And I'm going to come back one more time. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to actually whip finish this off. But I'm going to cut these so they're out of my way. And this is going to be the little air bubble. And you just barely need anything. Just like that. That's about an eighth of an inch. Alright. Now you can whip finish this. Or you can do a couple half hitches. If you're going to do just a couple of half hitches. You have to use glue. If you're going to whip finish it. I don't worry about the glue so much. But you're going to come up here. Try not to ca capture any of those little fibers. Do a three to four whip finish. Cut that off. And the option to glue that if you like. But there you go.